motorsport auctions, the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment, visit their website for more details. Hello everybody and warm welcome to Boswell Race Roundup. We're here today for round 9, the penultimate round of the 2015 Aston Martin GT1 Championship. Today's race comes from Lime Rock Park. The driver's standings, the top 4 is very close and so this week's qualifying session is even more important. It was Daniel Turk who took it in the end though, a 46.916. That means a bonus point for him as he looks to catch Tobias Soltau. Neil Bamba qualified ahead of Van Delden as they both fight it out for third in the championship. Tobias Soltau starts in fourth in the first of the Firefighters Charity Cars. They have seven cars on the grid this week and are again well represented. We also welcome Ian Robson to the Bowdoin Solutions team. They only have two cars on the grid this week, so only the top two will score for the team standings. For this week, we're going to ride on board with Neil Bamba as he takes us around Lime Rock Park. Neil coming around the final corner to start his best qualifying lap. Lime Rock Park, we are using the full circuit, it is not the chicane variation as we go into the first corner here which is called Big Bend. Now get the power down as we go into the aptly named left-hander. Keep it nice and tight through there, the next corner is right-hander. We now move on to the no-name straight as we come towards the uphill section of the course. Quite a difficult part of the course to master. Back keep the car in the straight line through there as we come into West Bend. Through here we go under the bridge and back down the hill. To downhill and onto the main straight again. A very short lap here. That's Neil's lap then, a 47.157. Let's move to the race. Acorn Printing are the team wear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton. See the video description to learn more. The race about to get underway as we watch Daniel Turk in pole. Talia did get a jump start penalty. Away we go then here at Lime Rock Park. Van Delden up the inside of Neil Bamba around the first corner. Simon Underhill has also got in front of Tobias Salt out into fourth. Van Delden will be looking for a better result than last week at Charlotte Road Course. If you haven't seen our race roundup video from round eight, it is available on our YouTube channel. We're going to jump on board now with Chris Buttrell for the start of the race. 41 laps ahead of us as Chris gets a fantastic start but the middle of Robson and Walker Chris firing past Cares, getting up with the rest of the bunch of the Firefighters Charity team into the first corner on the inside of Jackson Jackson comes across and taps Chris Chris manages to get the car back onto the track but he does rejoin behind Talia, Thorne and Walker Butterall took in, in behind Walker Talia on the right Talia keeping out of the way due to his false start. He will have to make it back to the pits to serve his penalty. We're going to give you another view now of the incident involving Jackson and Butterall. We're jumping on the back of Ricky Green's care. You see Chris at the back in the middle in the Firefighters Charity team. Simon Jackson coming up the left hand side of Ricky Green. Into turn one. If you keep an eye out, you will see Phil Gregory as well. Three abreast. Jackson into the side of Gregory, who was not expecting that at all. Bad start for the Firefighters Charity Team. To our race leaders, still lap one. Daniel Turk followed by Van Delden, Bamba and Underhill. Underhill making a pass through the uphill section. Neil Bamba going wide. Tobias Soltau right on the back of Neil Bamba. Now into West Bend, into the downhill section to complete the first lap. Lap four, riding with Ryan Walker and ever present during this event. Just ahead of him is Ian Thorne. Ryan too fast into the first corner, off track. Chris Buttrell comes up the inside, takes a position off Ryan. Keep an eye out ahead though, because Ian Thorne has also gone off. So, fantastic for Chris, he makes up two places. Ryan trying to get round the outside of Ian through right-hander. The move's not going to happen though. Ryan settling for 10th place. Lap 6, Chris Buttrell into the left-hander. Chris too hard on the brakes, locking up the wheels. Chris spinning. That allows Ryan Walker, who has got ahead of Ian Thorne and Ian Robson, to go through. Chris rejoining the track, three places worse off. Ian Robson joining us this week for Bowdoin Solutions through the Big Bend. 
too much kerb on the right hand side of the track in ploughing it into the wall this is Ian's third appearance for Bosra. His previous two came in round six of the Mazda MX-5 Cup and the Pontiac Solstice Special Event. We'd like to see more of him and hopefully he'll be joining us for the next championship. Moving on to lap 13 then, we are on board with Martin Gwenicki for the Firefighters Charity Team through the final corner. You see Martin pulling over to the right hand side of the track and there is only one reason for that. Tobias Saltout is just behind him. Tactical decisions coming into play then for the Firefighters Charity Team. With the Team Championship pretty much sewn up, it does allow them to concentrate on making sure that they finish top of the driver's standings as well. Ian Thorne being followed by Chris Butterill. Chris right on the back of Ian. Through downhill. Chris closing in and actually gives Ian a nudge. Ian then decides that this is the time to come into the pits, but as he does, he picks up a speeding penalty as well. Thorne sits 13th in the driver's standings, and this penalty won't improve his chances of finishing within the top 10. From the very start of the race, there was a four-way battle going on between Underhill, Bamber, Soltau and Gawinicki. We're on board with Martin now as we come up on Ian Thorne. Underhill and Bamber pass him, followed by Soltau and Gawinicki. This is the battle for fourth place, so Neil Bamber does need to do well here to catch Van Delden for third in the driver's standings. Simon Underhill also wanting to improve. One of the drivers though did make a mistake a couple of laps later. We're watching Neil Bamber as he chases Underhill. We're coming up to the uphill section of the course here at Lime Rock Park. So up we go into uphill, a mistake from Neil and he's off into the wall. Soltau and Gwenicki are past him. Neil is so close to that third spot, he's only six points behind Van Delden, but this will result in a trip to the pits to repair the damage. Van Delden is currently second in the race, that would mean 20 points for him this week. Now if Bamber did finish fourth, that would be 16 points for him. To make things even worse for Neil, as he came into the pits, he did lock up the brakes and put the car sideways, costing him even more time in the process. As you'll see from the ticker, Van Delden has pitted, he is now in 5th, Neil Bamber in 8th as we ride with Ricky Green through uphill. He was the next driver off here, going off on the right hand side of the track and into the wall there. Green was in 6th and that mistake all allowed Chris Buttrell and Neil Bamber to try and catch him up. To our race leader, Simon Underhill, followed very closely behind by Soltau. Simon pulls into the pits, which means that Tobias Soltau takes the lead of the race. Simon is followed into the pits by his teammate Martin Golenicki. We focus our attention again on Neil Bamber. Last week at Charlotte it was Van Delden making so many unnecessary mistakes and it seems this week it is Neil's turn. Neil putting the car off the track and waiting for cars to pass before he can rejoin. So once again mistakes costing the drivers time. As you see Chris Butterall come past and Talea coming up on the back of him. He's followed by Daniel Turk in the other Acorn printing car. We move on to possibly the biggest talking point of the race. Here you see Ian Thorne going off track. Now Ian rejoins but then does take it off again and into the wall. Now that impact there did cause damage to Ian's car and made the steering very difficult indeed. We are going to skip forward though to the end of this lap. You can see Ian trying to bring the car home very delicately. But keep an eye on him because as he pulls into the pit lane and hits the brakes he comes back on track. He's then collected by Talea. Simon Underhill tries to dodge Talea and puts his car off as well. We now get a replay on board with Simon Underhill as he follows Talea. So Simon currently sits fourth in the race. Keep an eye out ahead then as you see Ian come back onto track collected by Talea. Simon just catching Talea's car. You hear Simon's engine pops, that's his race over. The only thing he can do is bring the car off the track and allow other drivers to come through. Such a disappointing end to the race then for Simon Underhill. We're going to move on with Daniel Turk. He is currently second, lap 39 of 41. And as we come out of the final bend, keep an eye on the pit lane because in there, right at the end, just there you see, that is Tobias Soltau. So Daniel Turk takes the lead of the race from Tobias. With such a late pit stop then, all Daniel had to do was keep the car straight and narrow and that is what he did for the final couple of laps, coming to take the chequered flag. This means no matter what, Daniel Turk would close the gap even more at the top of the driver's standings and to celebrate, Daniel decided to do a few donuts as well. With the race over, let's take a look at the results and see how we shape up for the final round next week. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bodinsolutions.com.
Our confirmed race results then, it was Daniel Turk who took it ahead of Van Delden and Tobias Soltau. Tobias could only manage third and Daniel picked up the fastest lap bonus point as well, so he takes a maximum haul of 27 points this week. Van Delden finishes well ahead of Neil Bamber then and Ian Robson finishes 13th in his first race in this event. He takes the place of Bradley Selms in the championship. In the driver's standings, Tobias Soltal's lead is cut to just three points. That means that the championship will go to the deciding round next week. Neil Bamber has got it all to do. If he wants a spot on the podium, he needs to catch Van Delden and is 15 points behind him now. Phil Gregory now pretty much has fifth spot in the bag. He is way ahead of Talia, 16 points between them. At the bottom of the table, nothing has changed. We do hope to have a few of the drivers back with us for our next event. We are now taking registrations for that, so head on over to the website to get involved. In the team standings, the Firefighters Charity are still out front, 59 points ahead of Acorn Printing. Bowden Solutions had a bad week and Motorsport Auctions closed the gap to them in fourth. Don't forget to join us for the final round next week. We are Okiyama Short Course for that. It promises to be an exciting close to the event and we will find out who will finish top in the standings. That's it from us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.